Hey everybody, it's Sarah, the Real Simple Mama. I don't know if you can feel the heat through the camera. I feel like I'm saying that every video lately. Um, I wanted to do a five minute chicken tip video. As usual, it's gonna be quick, I'm gonna talk fast, but I wanted to give you some other things to think about as a chicken tender, some things you need to keep in mind to keep a quality life for your backyard chicken flock. I want to talk about planning as a chicken tender, which I don't mean like bust out your planner and let's plan. Um, although I do have the chicken tenders journal down below, which is just a very cheap printable you can buy off me um, to help support the flock that um, helps you keep organized with when you added chickens, when you do medications, who lays what kind of egg, all of that kind of stuff. But I'm not here. This is not, I'm not selling stuff. Please don't leave. Um, I wanted to talk about how a lot of times when people get chickens, it kind of seems like they didn't do a lot of planning or a lot of research I'm assuming if you're here on my YouTube video that I'm not talking about you right but as I step here in the shade yep, I wanted to talk about a couple of things you need to consider and it's kind of more like long-term planning um, for your backyard chicken flock and I'm sure a lot of you here have you've had dogs in the past or you've got kids or you have a husband, I'm just kidding, but you've got something to where you kind of have to think about long term not just like an impulse buy I want chickens let's do it oh wait we don't know what they eat and we don't know where they're going to sleep and we don't know about any of these things. But I feel like the couple of things that people don't really keep in mind when they get chickens. And so this is just like a little hmm thing for you to think about and certainly keep the conversation going in the comments below. The community here on Real Simple Mama's YouTube channel is just fantastic. You guys are also awesome. But the things that I worry about. Um, I guess there's two main things that I want people to think about, and this is like long-term planning for your chickens. The first is, what are you gonna do with your chickens as they age? I know, oh, the girls hear something. I'm gonna crouch down here so we can see. They're on high alert about something. What is it, girlies? So the first thing is, what are you gonna do with your chickens as they age? And I'll say, first of all, I've never um, raised like meat birds, like for, you know, for culling, for slaughtering, um, but I do know that most of the chicken you buy in the grocery store is like young roosters. Um, but if you aren't planning on doing that, or even if you are, like what are you planning to do with your chickens as they get older? Um, because hopefully you plan to keep them even after your hens aren't laying eggs, for example. So that's the first thing. Um, and certainly if you want to see, I have a whole playlist here on YouTube. You can look over to the side um, and I'll, I'll tag it up here at the top, but it's about um, like integrating chickens and quarantining new chickens. I have all kinds of suggestions. Like for example, I wouldn't add a couple of baby chicks to this full grown flock. Um, but just keep in mind, your chickens are probably going to live hopefully for like seven to 10 years, depending on the breed, of course, unless you're going to be eating them. But what are you going to do with your chickens as they age? Are you willing to continue to shelter them and feed them and do all the things for that long, um, especially if, you know, your hens aren't giving you eggs anymore. The other thing, and I think I worry about this one more, is you need to know your climate, like where you live, where your chickens are going to be. What is the hottest that the temperature is going to be each year? And what is the coldest? And that's just because like I'm in zone, I'm in the US, I'm in zone 8B. And that's just like the USDA, like they've zoned out the United States. I'm sure other countries have something similar, but I know that I'm going to stand back up that my winters are mild. Like we get freezes, but usually we don't stay frozen like for weeks at a time. But we don't have like really crazy bad winters. We'll hit below freezing, but it doesn't stay below freezing for like weeks at a time. But our summers are brutal. And my chickens live outside and they need my help. I know there's a plane, um, you know, no matter what. They can't go into the air conditioning like I can. Uh, so you need to be thinking about long-term planning for your chickens a lot of being a chicken tender on the day-to-day -day, like my chores take less than five minutes a day it's the planning and it's the long-term care and thinking ahead of like okay what is this going to look like in six months what is this going to look like in a year or five years or whatever um i know if i pan over this is kind of a tangent but i know this coop is not going to last five more years we plan on living here for two or three more years this coop may not even last that long just because it was a kit and we've already had it for four so I need to be thinking of a plan. As you can see, my girls are chilling down in the mud where it's nice and cool. There's a shade tarp. I sprayed the ground this morning. They have water trays everywhere to stand in and to drink in and they're gonna get frozen blueberries later. But I know 
that my chickens are suffering in the heat. So you need to be thinking about, again, that as a teacher, I'm gonna always review at the end. I want you to think about long-term planning as a chicken tender because it makes me nervous when people, it's like they got the chickens without really thinking about what their responsibility is. And remember, these animals need you. Um, they don't need like outfits and you, they don't need you to paint their nails and like silly stuff like that, but they are living things. So you do need to think about giving them a quality life all year round so look at your hottest temperatures look at your coldest temperatures if you get lots of rain or whatever and then what are you going to be doing to give them a quality life even as they age so a couple things to think about if you've got comments or like your philosophy or whatever drop it down below but i've been thinking about that a lot lately because i think a lot of people in my area for example don't have their chickens like they weren't prepared for their chickens to be out in the summer and it makes me feel bad because i mean birds are dropping dead so keep that in mind i'm always here for you i'm going to try to put out more content this summer and i will be back soon